It's the People Station V103, the ATL's number one for hip hop and R&B. I am your lifestyle specialist, Kenny Burns, and TKBS Nation. I want you to put your hands together for Damson Idris, AKA Franklin Saint, and Gail Bean, AKA Wanda, from the hit show Snowfall on FX. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, uh, how y'all doing first and foremost? It's good to see your faces. We're in a pandemic still, but snowfall is saving our lives. How you doing? <laughs> ladies first, ladies first. Oh, thank you. I'm doing great. Blessed, safe, healthy, happy. Good. A smile is everything, child. You better do that. It's thank so good you. to see it without the crackhead teeth. You know, the crackhead teeth don't, <laughs> don't do you justice, girl. <laughs> Listen, make them do a good job because Everybody was always so worried how they were going to be able to change my teeth and listen. Yeah, you got good teeth. Her DMs are so crazy, though. Don't let the, the teeth fool you. <laughs> Her DMs are so crazy. Right. How are you, dancing? I'm good, man. I'm in London, so I'm, I get to see the family. Um, I'm here for a little a bit, then I'm, I'm going to shoot back to the States in a little while for award season. But I'm just enjoying the buzz. Um, I'm a fan of the show, you know above everything so whether I was in it or not I'd still be watching so I'm just enjoying uh, the show finally receiving its flowers after how long it's been on air and, and to be at this point and so thankful to all those people that stuck with the show and for all the people who are jumping on board now. Yeah season four is out of control and we're clearly already started um, but I want to kind of take it back to last season just to bring people up to speed on my emotional connection because I was damaged, uh, dancing, AKA Franklin Saint, when your girl got hooked on that shit. And then she shot you at the end of the season. I was disturbed. I need to know what Franklin Saint's mindset was when that happened. That was a full circle moment, man. That was the point that Franklin Saint realized uh, that this thing uh, takes no, no victim. You know, there's no one that it won't, kill it can go for your mom it can go for your girlfriend your, your best friend or no one's safe uh so that was a full circle moment where franklin finally stepped out of his self stepped out of thinking okay it's all about the money he started to really realize um the effect he was having on his community and that's why by the end of season three and what we'll see in season four franklin he's trying to get ahead of some of that and He's trying to unwrite some of that, but right, right. I also we know <laughs> if there's anything we know from Snowfall, um, <laughs> everyone doesn't always get what they want. Oh, <laughs> for damn sure. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, dancing. Another thing, you know, the stakes are high, right? You guys went after Scully and Inglewood at first. You proposed what seemed to be a great, you know, partnership of sorts, but them damn eardrops wouldn't let him hear you, and I feel like. <laughs> You know, now, like, we have these, you know, all these issues kind, kind of forming for season four. What is that like? Now you're, you know, you're, you're here with the Scully situation. Team man, boy, team Scully. I want to know your opinion after this, but <laughs> it's an Instagram thing. The, the fans told me to ask that. But, I mean, y'all got to get it together. You and Leon need each other, bro. And, like, right now we're at a, we're a standstill. Talk to us. I know, man. It's, it's horrible. Um... But this is the reality of the times. You know, there's conflict from all areas, uh, inner and out of conflict. People think it's rosy and dandy. They think, all right, I'm going to sell this product. I'm going to make my money and I'm going to be out. I'm going to live happily ever, ever after. But, but that's not the case. Franklin's right. dealing with influence from the media. He's dealing with CIA influence. He's dealing with police. He's dealing with gang warfare. He's dealing with inner conflict between his peers and his family and loved ones. He's having to juggle all of that. I think yeah. the main theme this season for, for me playing Franklin was gradually trying to prove to everyone that he has everything under control, but also proving to himself that he has everything under control. Yeah, and you're quite young and, and doing it at a high clip. But, Gail, I want to go to you for a second. You know, we see the dynamic with you and Leon. Both of you are having situations with Leon. You, Gail, a.k.a. Wanda, yours is a little bit more dynamic in the sense that you came back to season four like a full-on cracker like you were dabbling you know you mm -hmm. see the the interesting relationship between you and leon which my boy isaiah was on last week representing the snowfall crew but talk about that dynamic and, and you clearly got shot 
last episode warning him that that you know what I'm saying that Scully was in the vicinity and then you you know while selling the gold too. I, I just bring us up to speed. Is there a redemptive love story unfolding in front of us? There Leon and Wanda are always going to have that loyalty and that love. And I think um which I believe in my real life and in Wanda's life, loyalty is it weighs heavier than love. It, it holds more weight. So I think uh, with Leon, he feels the same way, and which I do feel may be some of the cause of the divide between him and Franklin. He feels that the loyalty there is wavering. Um, but with with Wanda, he also has that guilt and feels partially responsible for her demise because you know it was his love for her and his love for her loyalty to him and to herself and just. Um, that kind of introduced her to the crack game. Right. He wanted to be around her more. So he wanted to bring her in the house to cook so they could be together in the cookhouse, um, right. as we saw in season two. Uh, and then at the time, you know, we weren't aware that just being around crack, touching crack, that that causes you to get addicted. And right. then Wanda is a girl who wants to have fun. So she wasn't aware that that fun would... It, and she's still not aware that the crack is an issue. Right. She's, so, she's cause she's still having a good time. She's yeah, she's denial. still having a good, she's in denial. She's still having a great time. Um, but I definitely think the love and the loyalty between Wanda and Leon will never fade. Yeah. Now, I'm, I'm, what I'm, it boils up to. Right, is a whole nother thing. I, is I, a whole I nother thing. thing. man, until I took them three bullets. I don't, I don't care. I don't give two Fs about Melody. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. We, you know that's not coming it. back. And she's been saved, apparently. I, I would love to see if she does come back in the one. Yeah, <laughs> apparently. Um, but no, but but Gail, AK Wanda, you know, you asked him to stay in the hotel room. I'm sorry, in the hotel room, in the in the hospital room. And he stayed. And see, the, the thing I have about Leon is that he's a killer, but he's also a lover. Like he can't help his love for you and Franklin, no matter how hard he tries to fight it. Yeah. But is that a testament? And we talked a little bit of last week, uh, Zay and I did. We talked a, a little bit about it last week. But is that what your perspective would be for, as Wanda? Yes, I think it's definitely a testament. I, but see, this is something that Wanda knows about Leon. Right. So our, with our relationship, one thing I know for sure is if I ever come to the point, which I am at the hospital, where for me it's rock bottom because there's no one around, there's no one to help me. And in the hospital, Wanda has a bit of um, clarity because now she's been there for a few days. So she, the, the drugs are coming out of her system. So she's realizing that she's once again all alone. Right. And I know that Leon is the one person that I can call on. And I think the same, and, and you let me know, um, Damson, if that's how you feel. I mm -hmm. think the same for Franklin. I think he knows like Leon ain't going nowhere. Right. Oh, oh, interesting. Is that how you feel? Ooh, I don't know, man. Leon does some shady stuff, man. And he just doesn't, ah, <laughs> doesn't appreciate what I do for him. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, do do Franklin appreciate what Leon does for him, though? Oh, I do. I definitely appreciate. I know I need Leon. But right. He, right, he thinks he doesn't need me. But we'll see this season. That's tough yeah. guy. He knows. You know, what? you know what, Damson? I'm glad you said that because in the next episode, it's a it's real deal holy field. Like you got man boy, like yo, the five year five year old niece is dead. You got your auntie who you, you know what I'm saying, respect and love as part of your immediate crew, telling you gotta give him up. Cause clearly he's on the he's on the run, kind of, from Scully. Cause Scully's about to go crazy with the eardrops and all the things he puts in his wound <laughs> and stuff like that. But hot like scary. you know, it, it's no Scully is very scary, but you know. <laughs> Where, where are we? You know, the commercials would lead us to think you find him, you got a gun over him on the couch, but that's not, you know, that's movie magic. I just need to know we need some <laughs> intel. Uh, spoilers. No, no spoilers. I, I, I do say with the show, you know, um, it's just, it's, the, it, it's, I'm just so proud of it, you know, because mm -hmm. I read, sometimes I, I'll be bored and we're in a pandemic and I'll read some of the comments and the theories and the, 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 the guessing that people make and and a lot of the times they get it wrong sometimes they get it right, right. they get it right that's sometimes the crazy part something 10 episodes 
before it comes to fruition. I'm like, how did they, how did they get it already? <laughs> and it's not even no ways to see it. Like, no I'm like how did they even put that together? In exactly. So, so we, we systematically try right. to mess with people as much as possible in those trailers. Right. Um, be, be, because we know it all just, it makes for greater television, man. It's a testament to the show. It's a testament to the writing. Uh, it's a whirlwind uh, of happenings that's going to happen this season. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's so beautiful how um, four seasons in and, and we see how Franklin's world gets shook up. Because like, <laughs> yeah. for, for our three seasons straight, he was riding, riding. They were yeah. like, this nigga don't miss. And then now it's like, Oh, you get shot, and yep. then. Yeah. Well, it, well, it's, it's because so Gail. It's because he's more ambitious, and his ambition is leading him to 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 make decisions based on the ambition and not the friendship. That's the pro that's my thought in the problem with him ultimately in oh, yeah. Leon. Because when you look at like what's happening right now, is mm -hmm. a, is a, is a testimony to friendship. What we will see tomorrow night. It's going to be like, yo, is he going to really protect him? Is he going to give him up? I mean, like you said, Dance in the trailer has us thinking we're, we're all over the place. We know Man Boy can't be with Scully, although that's the sisters, whatever. But at the same time, Man Boy done already tried to kill him. So Scully, not, he not hearing nothing. He want to put the murder game down with everybody. But for you, Dance, and I think one of the things that was important in episode three, is that episode three of this, se this se season four? That was last four, episode four. So last episode, which was for your mom, you know, and finally, you know, she's been, she wasn't with it, but she got mm -hmm. with it. She helped you. She's mm -hmm. still not with it, but she's with it, but she's not. And she finally was like, yo, like, is it ever going yeah. to be enough? That's the biggest question. That's the question every character is asked and asks this season. And that's the question that many people involved in this game never asked. When is it going to be enough? Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of people who understood that early and they were fortunate enough to get out the game, um, avoided jail and they're probably uh, bankers right now or something. <laughs> like or, 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 or radio me. personalities, or radio personalities. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, oh, damn, uh, I'll, I'll give you a call out there. But, <laughs> but, but it's true though, it's true. You know, this is, this is the truth of the story and people like Franklin, people like Louis, the difference is they're tied to the CIA and that's why the CIA storyline is so important. And I want that story to be something that viewers take seriously and really pay attention to. No matter how big these characters that we love get to, they're still tied, they're still being puppeteered and that is something. And that is the real conversation of the show and why many people are in the situations that they're in today. Hey, listen, you are reading my notes through the Zoom. I don't know how, but... <laughs> The next thing I want to bring to you both, and I would love answers from you both, is how real is it? I mean, we all heard the story of Freeway Ricky Ross. We know some of the inspiration initially. But the CIA was flooding cocaine in the hood. Mm -hmm. And, like, you, you know this now, and, and I'm sure you're privy to information and, and, and you've done your research on your own. But what is that like for the both of you, knowing that the CIA was funding the Contras and was, you know, basically tearing up our society as we know it. Well, it's no secret um, that I'm glad Snowfall is out because it, this is something that a lot of people weren't aware of. But I mean, being from Atlanta, being black, being American, it's no secret that this was happening and the government was flooding drugs into our community. It's no secret that a lot of our homes were in our communities and our families and our friendships and our love lives were destroyed single-handedly based off the crack epidemic. And are still, um, facing the effects now. Uh, so this isn't anything new. I think just being able to play a character like Wanda, it's given me a different perspective on some family members who have gone through it. Um, I've had aunts and uncles on crack, died of crack, smoked crack since before I was born. So that's all I know about them. Right. So I'm able to see them and value their life in a different way from a different perspective because playing Wanda, I'm seeing how quickly one can fall, how people like Melody, people like Wanda are not exempt to the crack epidemic. Families like the Saint family are broken 
and you don't know this journey. When I was cast as Wanda, I was never informed that my character would do drugs and then turn out to be a crack addict. I had no idea. So I literally went through this journey. I have to say on air, this woman, if I could play any other character in Snowfall, it would be be Wanda. (laughs) I would pull it off. Maybe the yellow teeth I could pull out. But, But honestly, Gail Bean is a fantastic actress. And I watch her and I call up the producers and writers. I'm like, yo, how many more scenes? I don't get enough scenes with her. Can I get some more scenes with right. Gail Bean, please? This is the person who should be awarded. This is the person who we need to look at. This is the heart of the show. She is the victim of this epidemic. She is proof of how many lives were destroyed. And she is proof that this was a health crisis. It wasn't a criminal one. And I just, I just have to hold my hands up to you, Gail, and just say that Thank it you. is a pleasure working beside you, you because you are phenomenal my queen thank that you thank awesome. you so much it's, it's, awesome. it's the energy y'all give and receive i can only i can only exude greatness by seeing greatness and acting alongside it yeah all of you all are smashing the game i'm looking at you all honestly like the brat pack when, uh, pack when i was growing up but i um i look at you guys like the nia longs like the lorenz oh. tates i look at you guys you know you will start here in snowfall but you will grow however far you want to go. I truly believe that. I was talking to Isaiah last week, and he's just so dope. His energy, you know, his presence, and you guys are young, man, and I want you to get everything you came for. See, what Hollywood didn't know prior to y'all was how much they really needed y'all, and the fact that y'all are holding Snowfall down the way you are, you really and literally can write your own ticket, so I don't want you to let up, you know, and then, again, with the people involved in this, you know how this, this business is. It's all relationships. It's what did you do for me lately? Who do you know? And you guys are in pocket and, mm-hmm. and, and strong together with this, you know, these writers, these producers that have their own lineage and history in, in mm-hmm. film. So I'm, I'm rooting for you guys, man. Like, I, this is my favorite show out. Well, I got to give a thanks to John for giving us the opportunity for casting us, for going with um, so many shows um, go with names that star names for yes. the cast. So it's just a testament to John's faith and everybody behind the scenes, their belief in the storyline and how important and pivotal this story is. And for choosing actors who they saw greatness in before anybody knew their names and giving opportunities because so many people will not, so many of gatekeepers don't allow fresh faces in. So I'm just grateful that the leading cast, hands down, I didn't know them before Snowfall. Right. Now everybody knows. Yeah. I, I can't go. I got friends. It's like every time Frank plays State, Frank Dempsey. Oh, I love his exit. And they just, so just everybody, the the whole cast has honestly single handedly made a name, made Snowfall what it is. And I'm and from the crew, the cast, the writers, the producers, but John especially. I'm just grateful because people have to fight to say no these are the actors that I want. Yeah. <laughs> We're yeah, going so, with actors that don't have the name. We're going with them. They're going to make the name and they're going to make the show. Mm-hmm. And he saw you guys. And that's important. God rest of the day. Like he saw you. He saw your potential. And we're now in season four of Snowfall on FX. Tomorrow night, a new episode. I think it's episode five of season yeah. four. What can we expect? Just give your fans a little bit. I know you don't want to give no spoiler alert, but the trailer's confusing. Come on, talk to us. In in, in the shortest way possible, tomorrow you will see Franklin make a decision. Mm. That's Mm. what I'm going to leave you with. I would not have really bought that from you unless you had that accent. Um, (laughs) Dancing, listen, man, you know, it's a pleasure to watch you work. Gail, Bean, you are, you know, listen guys, I'm talking about when I say Brat Pack, I mean that affectionately. You guys have the world at your feet. Don't stop and get everything you came for. That's you. Well, all right. All right, y'all. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Kenny. <laughs>